Okay, it's Thursday night. One jar of heather here from Ramon. It's pretty much set. And I'm just going to go through the process for returning it to liquid. Um, so you can see, see there, I don't think it's absolutely solid, but there's, there's not any running out. The, the best thing to do is probably to try and put it on a radiator. Um, so I'm going to do that overnight and probably most of tomorrow. And I think by then we'll find that it has returned to liquid. So I'm going to put it on the radiator here. I'm just going to put a tea towel over the top because that helps to trap some of the, the heat in. In there, we don't want it to get too hot. I mean, the hive gets to about so the maximum of 35 to 40 degrees in the summer, and that's probably what temperature this is going to reach. Um, so we'll have a look again tomorrow and s see how the honey is. Going to have another look at the heather honey. So we put it on the radiator last night um, about 10 o'clock, and it's half nine now so that's nine and a half eleven and a half hours ago so right it looks fairly liquid at the bottom but it's not not all the way up yet you can see I don't know whether you can see it's darker at the bottom right so I'm just going to take the lid off um, so you can see it looks more liquid, um, it's not, no, it's a bit runny, but it's not very runny yet. It's Sunday morning, about 9.30, I'm going to have another look at the heather honey, see what's happened to it. Uh, it's looking nice and dark, yeah, and as you can see that is completely liquid again so as you can see it actually took quite a lot longer than I expected for the honey to return to liquid um, about two and a half days so you do need to be patient but if you give it time you will have a jar of fully liquid honey again